Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, today's workout was a hot one, as you'll see when I start demonstrating. Today's a ladder rep workout. We have 10 exercises. We start out doing every one five reps, then 10, then 15, and back down to 10, then back to five. That sounds like a lot. You can always modify the reps and go five, and then take it to eight, then maybe the top of your ladder is 10. Uh, my group did all the way to 15, then back down. It took us about 30 minutes, um, and we're, we were all sweating like crazy. So I'm gonna pull out here, hopefully you had time to snap a picture of this. I'm gonna pull out, and um, I'm gonna show you what the exercises look like quickly, because I am pretty gassed from doing them already um, with my clients in my Zoom class. Okay, Sage is here this morning too, hi Sage. Um, the first one is squat to a side leg raise, so it's a lot of legs today. So it is, I don't care what you do with your arms, squat to a side leg raise, and everything is counted in one. So that's one, two, three, got it? All the way up till I get five, because the first set is five. Exercise number two is dumbbell scarecrows. So I'm gonna grab my lighter dumbbells, keep my arms at shoulder height. I like to straddle my legs again. And if you have a decent shoulders, rotator cuffs, nice and easy. If you've got struggles with your shoulders, throw the weight out. Okay, but this is a nice PT shoulder developer move. Okay, it's called scarecrows. Um, exercise three is reverse lunges. I think I'm just gonna hold on to these dumbbells with a press. So I'll show you front and side view. Get that out of here, Sage. So as I reverse lunge, I press for one, okay? two, three, and et cetera, et cetera. Exercise four is called a bridge march. I think we've done these in a previous workout. So I'm gonna use my glutes and pull my butt up super high and tight, hands at the side, keep my knees at 90 degrees, so it's one, two, you can always count five per side too if you want. We just did three, four, Five and done. Okay, exercise five is probably the toughest. Um, I'm gonna have to put Sage out there. It is a burpee to an iso hold. And my suggestion is to go to a half burpee. Um, we found that we could survive it a little bit better. And that's tough enough as it is. You wanna do a full burpee over your belly button hits the ground? That works too. So, you go down like so. You pop it back, and when you come back up, you come up wide, and you hold. So again, it's down, back, hold. So it's like a half burpee for five. Then I'm gonna go into a move called push-up waves, and that is, I'm gonna do a regular push-up, and I'm gonna turn and wave with my arm directly under my shoulder. That's one, if you need to modify, go like this, go on your toes then, and wave. Push up waves, okay? That's exercise six, seven, jump squats, hands behind the head. Really feel these in your quads if you keep your legs wide. So you're gonna go down, up, squat, hold. Down, up, squat, hold. And make sure you're landing uh, softly on those knees and ankles because they need to last you a while. Um, eight is reverse lunge kicks, so dumbbell in my hand, reverse lunge kicks with a punch. So I'm going to bring this up and kick at the same time I punch. So one, bend over for balance, two, three, etc. Okay, the last two are on the mat, and this one's a new one. It's called bridge walkout, so I'm going to start in bridge, hands here. I'm going to walk my feet all the way to my almost straight out but my butt's still squeezing off the ground, and then I bring it back in. If all those baby walks are too much, you can simply take one giant step out and one giant step in. The smaller steps do make it tougher. Finally, exercise 10, lightweight dumbbell. I tap the ground behind my head. I trip, tip my pelvis so my lower back is always in contact with the ground. And when I come up, I'm gonna come up and try to keep my arms from giving me momentum. So I'm gonna come up with my arms by my ears. It's called an at the mat or just a roof raiser. 
So we just finished all 10 exercises. You're gonna go five reps. The next round is 10, 15, and then we'll do 10 and five. Again, if you're a beginner, I'd go five, eight, 10, eight, five. Hope you guys have as much fun doing this workout. We obviously were drenched, so have a great, great Wednesday, and um, um, peace out.